Next, we're going to look at what I like to call notational examples. Let's just get right to it. If I say f of x plus 3 times g of x, and I ask you to find that derivative, well, I would do the derivative of f, so I would express it as f prime of x, plus the derivative of 3 times g of x would be 3 times g prime of x. We did this one in an earlier lesson. Number 16, if I did f of x times g of x and ask you to express that derivative, well, I would write f of x times the derivative of the second, g prime of x, plus the second term, g of x, times the derivative of the first, f prime of x. And that simply expresses the product rule. Number 17. Now this one is critical because it's the first time we're seeing how to express the chain rule. I always love it in class when someone is able to look at this and decide how to express it. Unfortunately, I can't hear you, so I have to just tell you. f of g of x. So this is going to be f prime of stuff. But then we have to finish with the derivative of of stuff, g prime of x. It's pretty cool. Some people really like the notational examples better than the functions with, with trig or other polynomials because they have special properties, but these just express the rule. So a lot of people like these better. Okay, let's quickly move to some difficult ones. f cubed of x and we're going to express that derivative. You may want to think of this as f of x to the power of 3, and then we're going to take the derivative of that. So it's going to become 3 stuff to the power of 2, and then times the derivative of stuff. There we go. Of course, of course, of course, you could have written 3 f squared x times f prime of x, but I think people beginning prefer this way for the organization. Let's take a look at the next one. Number 19. Okay, this one is going to be the derivative of g to the power of 5 of f of x. Tricky, tricky, tricky. I want you to try this one on your own. Please press pause now. And now we're going to go over it. I'm going to come over here and write g of f of x all raised to the power of 5. So now we have 5 stuff to the power of 4. Now we have to do the derivative of stuff, which will be g prime of the f of x stuff times the derivative of that, f prime of x. If you got that one right, I'm really excited. I wish I could see you and give you a big giant hug. <laughs> there, there's your hug. Let's take a look at 20. Okay, number 20 is considered challenge. Again, challenge doesn't always mean hard in these examples. They mean tricky. 2x, f sorry, f of, 2x minus g of h of x. Let's make sure we close off the parentheses for f, and then we put the bracket, and then we're going to put prime to find the derivative. Okay, do you want to try it? Press pause. If not, here we go. f prime of stuff. Okay. Now we have to do the derivative of stuff, and the derivative of stuff is two parts, two for the first term, and then we're going to subtract the derivative of the second, which is g prime of h of x times h prime of x. How fun. I heart notational examples. 21 square root of x minus f squared x. And then we're going to find that derivative. Press pause. Come on, do it. Press pause. Come back for the solution. One half. 
stuff to the negative one half power times. Okay, let's do this without having to rewrite it. One minus two f of x times f prime of x. Yay, if you got it. If you didn't, it's okay. We'll get used to it. Just again, where did I go from there? Well, I did it in my head, but you could have said f of x to the power of 2. So that it would have been 2 stuff to the power of 1 times the derivative of stuff.